Prior to the season, Xanadu's uh, always showed us a great a lot right from day one. She always had that bit of an X factor. Uh, she won her very first trial, then she went straight to the races. Uh, she won her very first race. Uh, so she showed a lot right from, from day one, really, and uh, continued to show improvement. She was always a little bit immature and weak, um, needed time. Uh, hence, I spelled her through the, uh, through the, the middle part of the year and brought her back as a late three-year-old. Uh, she ran first up uh, in the Mr. Tiz, they ran a credible fourth, and then she went, uh, she won a Tauranga, and then she went to Tiara, and she ran third in the Mata Mata Bre uh, Tiara Thoroughbred Breeders Group 1. No, we haven't really changed anything. She, um, she, started, she didn't have a trial. She went straight, had an exhibition gallop at Tiara, and then went straight into the uh, Foxbridge plate here and ran a very good third, um, and then progressed down to the races at at uh, Hastings. Uh, it was our intention to run her in the first two and then assess things and see how she went. Um, wasn't always a gimme that she was going to run in this race because I always thought she was a little bit immature and weak and needed time. But she's really bounced through this run. Um, this week I've been very, very happy with her. Her work's been good, her feeding's been good, and uh, we're happy to be there Saturday. Yeah, we're very proud of her. You know, she's, as I say, she's quite immature still, and I think what she's doing now is a real bonus. I think what she get, uh, she's going to be a different horse in the autumn and as a five-year-old and older I think definitely what she's doing now is a real bonus for the future. Um, she's doing it on sheer natural ability and she can only get better as she gets stronger. The preparation's not much different. I mean obviously she worked over a little bit of ground on Tuesday but it's not a lot different. She's, she's fit. She's, uh, as I say, been to the bay twice so she wasn't going to uh, lose any fitness. She had quite an easy week after the Windsor Plate um, and then stepped over, worked over a bit of ground on Tuesday. So no, it's just a general progression. As far as getting the ground, I mean, you never know until you've been there. Um, Pedigree-wise, she's bred to be sprinter miler, um, but she's got a little bit of stoutness back in the second and third dam, so that might stand her instead. And the way she's been hitting the line, I think that she may, you know, all indications are that uh, she'll get 2,000 metres. Oh, natural ones. I actually think a big threat in the race, Postman's Daughter. She's had, um, it was a nice run last week, finding the line well, and I think she's a very talented mare to go over ground, but there's quite a lot of chances in the race. Uh, you know, in Group 1 races, you always get uh, depth to the field. They're obviously a very good field, so there's quite a few chances, but I like her as a bit of an outsider. I think she's, she's, she's a big chance.